In 1277, a miraculous victory unfolded near the coast of modern-day Israel. Despite overwhelming odds, a small crusader army led by the young and leprous King Baldwin IV faced Saladin, one of the greatest military commanders of the medieval world. This is the story of the Battle of Montgisard, a battle that turned the tide of the Crusades, at least for a brief moment. By 1177, the Kingdom of Jerusalem had endured nearly 80 years of conflict with Muslim forces under various commanders. At the time, the Crusader states were led by Baldwin IV, also known as the Leper King, whose illness would eventually claim his life. Across the border, Saladin, Sultan of Egypt and Syria, was uniting Muslim forces and becoming a dominant figure in the Near East. His aim was clear, reclaim the Holy Land and eliminate the Crusader presence. Saladin believed the time was ripe to strike a decisive blow. In October 1177, Saladin assembled a large army intent on capturing Jerusalem. However, King Baldwin IV, despite his illness and a much smaller army, would meet him on the field of battle. Saladin's army was vast, numbering somewhere between 25,000 to 30,000 men, including a formidable cavalry force. His troops were well-equipped and experienced, having already won several key victories in the region. On the other hand, Baldwin IV had only 500 knights and perhaps around 3,000 infantry supported by a few thousand soldiers from local militias. He had also been awaiting reinforcements from the Templars, though many were delayed or absent due to a failed plan with the Byzantine Empire to invade Egypt. Despite these disparities, Baldwin knew that Saladin's forces had split, with many soldiers sent to raid and pillage. This gave him a fleeting opportunity. On November 25, 1177, near the village of Montgisard, Baldwin made a bold move. He and his army surprised Saladin's forces while they were returning from their campaign. Caught off guard, Saladin's troops were not in a battle-ready formation. As Baldwin's knights charged down the hill, they struck with precision and force. One of the most critical moments was the personal leadership of Baldwin IV. Despite his leprosy and physical weakness, he rode at the front of his army, wielding a sword— his presence inspired his men and gave them the courage to push through Saladin's lines. Saladin's forces were thrown into disarray. The Crusader knights, though fewer in number, maintained their momentum, cutting through the enemy lines. Saladin himself barely escaped with his life, fleeing the battlefield with only a fraction of his army intact. Several key factors contributed to the Crusader victory. Baldwin attacked when Saladin's forces were unprepared, tired from raiding, and lacking proper defensive positions. Baldwin IV's personal involvement in the battle inspired his troops. His condition as a leper made his appearance even more significant, as his men believed they were fighting for a higher cause. The crusader charge from the higher ground at Montgisard caught Saladin's troops off guard, allowing the knights to break their formation. Saladin did not expect a significant confrontation that day and had divided his forces, leaving his army more vulnerable. The Battle of Montgisard was a crushing defeat for Saladin, who lost a significant portion of his army. Although it did not end the larger conflict, it bought the Kingdom of Jerusalem valuable time. Saladin would not launch another major offensive until 1183, giving Baldwin IV and the Crusader states a few more years of relative stability. However, the victory was fleeting. Baldwin IV's health continued to deteriorate, and internal divisions within the Crusader states weakened their ability to mount future defenses. Saladin, undeterred, would rebuild his forces and, a decade later, achieve his most famous victory at the Battle of Hatton, which ultimately led to the fall of Jerusalem in 1887.